66 degrees in Northeast Ohio. Whew. Look at the activity. Wow. Everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. So, <sighs> cannot believe this. This is Ohio weather. Like, only people that live in Ohio really understand what this is about, like the weather here. But it's 60, like 6 degrees, 3, like 20 p.m., March 1st. Every single colony, look at the activity down through this row. Look at this. First hive here. Look at that. Look at the second, look at this Apame. Look at this. Look at this one here. Next Apame. The end colony here. Look at this. Now onto the back row. Look what we got here. Wow. Amazing activity here. Look at this other one over here and I'm seeing I mean, heavy pollen baskets. Look at that bee right there. Down here, let's see if we can see one coming in with pollen. I just saw a couple, so there's a source out there. Um, man alive, I mean, I cannot believe this. So what I'm gonna do today is this. Last video you all saw, I put in little pieces of the pollen patty. I'm going to go through and check them real quick just to see what has taken place. So our weather did exactly what I thought it would do. It was nice and then it teetered down and we had cold weather. Well, by me putting those pollen patty, just small pieces in here, that gives these colonies that source while they can't go out and forage, okay? Weight-wise, they have weight, you know. I can lift on these colonies. Wow. That one there got some weight on it. Uh, I'll check those when I take the straps off, but I mean, they are good. So they've got their carbohydrates, they've got the honey. Um, I wanted to give them that protein source, that pollen. So let's just go down, same exact way that I've done before. Let's start with this small colony here and just go down the rows. So let's see what this little one here, this, uh, little nuke. It's got the Pepto Pink Queen from uh, Nature's Image. Um, let's see what this one, what they've done to that pollen patty. So you see here, they've taken all but the little corners of this fondant. So let's see what they've done to the pollen patty. It is gone. Gone. So they wiped out that pollen patty in just that short amount of time. So what's that tell me? They want that source. All right, so same thing here is I've got my global patty and I'm taking a small bit of the paper off so this is going in same spot right there. Let me adjust that. And there we go. You can see here, they've taken a fair amount of this fondant. So they still are looking at that food source there. Now, the question, what have they done to that piece of the pollen patty? So let's check it out. All right, y'all, look at that. Pollen patty, gone. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of a bigger piece here, but these Hive Alive patties contain real American pollen. So as far as other sources, you know, if people are wondering about supplementing your colonies, uh, you see how well they took this. Let's move down the row here. I am just curious, but I'm pretty much betting 
that all of these wiped out the pollen patty that was on it. This right here is a March 1st colony in Northeast Ohio. Look at that. Look at this. Look at how chill. You know, if you want to talk about bees, look at this right here. All right, there's still a small little piece of it left. I don't see any larvae, anything in it. So they're going to get another piece. Okay. They are getting another piece of it. We'll put it right back here. There we go. So, really these colonies, I can't be more pleased with how they're looking. Um, you know, they're really taking down uh, the pollen patties. Let's go through the front row there and check those. Um, I bet I already know what to expect up there, so let's go real quick up there. All right. Well, just went through all the colonies and uh, the far end one had a little bit left. I didn't put anything in there. Basically what pollen patty I had out of that case, I've used it up. So they really took to taking, uh, you know, those pollen patties. So that's good. I want them to always have a protein source. Um, our weather is supposed to dip again. I'll put a little image up there of, you know, where our temperatures are. So by me having a source inside of that hive body for that colony, um, it gives them, I mean, they can always go to the grocery store. So they don't have to worry about going out and foraging. So on those cold days. So um, if you are wondering about those patties, I will throw a little QR code up there that is to Hive Alive, um, and then it's code Brian10 will get you 10% off. Um, I'll also, and these QR codes, I'm kind of new to this, and it's, it's, you know, another Ohio beekeeper, Central Ohio beekeeper, uh, Jason Chrisman, turned me onto these QR codes. So, Jason, it's all your fault. So, if everybody, you know, they look at these QR codes and you're like, what can we do with that? Well, if you watch on your television, like I know some viewers do, and you want to subscribe to follow along, um, just aim your phone at that QR code and boom, it could take you right to the channel and then you could subscribe. So um, very awesome how those QR codes work. I, I didn't know uh, that you could do that. So um, very cool. But, you know, all these colonies here so far, March 1st, we are still sitting at 100%. So both of the farm colonies are good. So I am super impressed. I'll throw a little teeny video clip from one of these colonies here. When I cracked it open, you can see the bees. Look at the bees across there. So really amazing, but a lot of activity. You know, I can know by looking at them, I see pollen right there on a bee. I know they're out foraging when you see that. You don't have to, like right now, could I have pulled a frame or two? Yeah. Do I need to? No. Um, I'm really just maintaining them at this point, uh, getting them into this first flow. So I'm looking and I can see some of the maples and that are starting to pop. So we are very early for this time of year. So, you know, hopefully we'll see what it does for swarm season might be early. But, you know, I would hope that if you have overwintered colonies, at least what I'm doing, I've already prepped and I have what equipment to expand out this apiary. So really it's going to be early, so you should be planning right now. If you haven't, I would, I would get on that really. Um, but that's the update here, so really excited just to walk in here and you get the, the aroma. You know, you get those, that apiary smell. The beekeepers know what it is. Um, 
You know, if you're not familiar and you're thinking, my gosh, this guy is nuts. He's down here, you know, standing next to these colonies. Man, you haven't seen anything yet. So just wait till I break out the shorts. So that's typically what I'll do in the summer is check these colonies in shorts. So, but so awesome. But you all take care. And until the next one, y'all, and I'm excited. Whew.